We're going to start off by calling our water Susan and bringing her to a boil. Then we'll try not to cry as we murder the onions. Once our Susan has boiled, we'll cook our noodles. You're cutting the pepper, mate. Yeah. Oh, do you want? Do you want to cut it? No. It's like an Airbnb. Cut, cut. cut. We will saute our onions. Oh, okay. Yeah, you take over. I I wasn't doing a good job, anyways. Once our noodles are nude, I mean, once we drain our noodles, we will put an entire garlic wrapped in tinfoil in the oven to exterminate any vampires since we are Team Jacob. Now we prep our sauce for the pasta. Whenever I didn't keep the kitchen stocked with pasta sauce, I would have to make it myself. And for Scheipnir, we use a lot, you have to use a lot of tomato sauce, like canned tomato sauce and tomato paste. So we'd always have that. Right. So I would make it with tomato, like I would literally take tomato paste and water and make my own pasta sauce. It's just tomato, tomato sauce, sauce and some whipping cream. Now we copy and paste the tomatoes. You got that from the oven because you're going to do what with it? That was mash like... it up. Then we mash it like Meckham. We're going to add more tomato sauce because we can't get enough. Stir! Jimmy Pesto has entered the chat. Stir again! Add ricotta for your mama. You'll never guess what happens next, you'll stir again! This is so satisfying. You know it ain't Christmas because all creatures were stirring. It's a pasta and sauce love story. Put them together, grate some cheese on top, and it's ready to get sauced part two. Bada boom, bada bing, here we go, baby! I topped it with some savory plum, which is the old-fashioned ketchup-style sauce from Slow Bottle Sunday. It tasted like craft dinner with ketchup, but a more fancier version. I felt like an adult. You know, I pay my own bills. I eat locally sourced products that help reduce farmer's waste. I call this one the KD Kicker with some fresh cherries on top, making me feel like a kid again.